Hey, good morning, Wednesday, April 27th, April 27th, 2022, 17 weeks into the new year. It's not so much a new year anymore when being April and almost May. Next week will be May. Okay, I've already been out, walked the dogs, fed the dogs, dad was here. Oh, my father came by and brought me tulips from his garden. Aren't they beautiful? They're so pretty. His yard is entire flowers. He has more bulbs than GE. <laughs> okay. And um, he has these pansy tulips. These are actually tulips, but they're the pan they were crossed crossed with uh, pansies. Are these gorgeous or what? When he brought these about an hour ago, they were closed. Well, first of all, it was early in the morning. Second of all, it was um, cold out. Not that cold, but wow, it's getting dark in here. Oh. I think my pansies were blocking the light. I do have a light on. I think I should go more like this. Okay. So anyway, aren't they beautiful? Week 17. What do I have for you this week? Let me show you my pile. <laughs> no, the pile's not from this week. This is just what I've made so far this year. Ta-da! Ta-da, 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 ta-da. You've seen them all. You've seen them all except for this one. Let me put them up the top one. Um, some of them aren't there. I think I've got a little less than 30. So this is week 17. So I went for a walk. My hair's all kind of crazy. Today's, today's, um, I don't know if I can find the right side from the wrong side. I don't know if there's one. It's pretty much the same, I think. Today's stitch is called the English Moss Stitch. No, the Irish <laughs> Green Moss. Um, the Irish Moss Moss Irish Moss Stitch. Dishcloth knitting pattern. It is a free pattern. It is from Handy Little Me, Louise Bolanos. I've been thinking and thought, I like this pattern. Let's see it up close. But this is, it's a goddess stitch border at the top and the sizes in the bottom and the size of the design. There's a, oh yeah, six inch garter. I mean a six stitch garter on the sides. And this is a sit, six stitch border. But see how it looks shorter than the sides? That's okay. This is not blocked. This just came off the needles this morning. Yes. Okay. So it's a four row stitch repeat. Real easy. It's also called the American Moss Stitch or a Double Moss Stitch for the same. So it, you can learn a new stitch. Um, I am leaving the link to this pattern free pattern in the description box it's a very short you can see it's a very four stitch repeat and it actually all it does is um you knit six every row beginning and end of each row and it's purl one knit one purl one knit one for two stitches and then it's knit one purl one knit one purl one for two not stitches two rows and two rows and you just keep going until it measures about nine and a half inches but nice photos nice photos of the stitch and it was fun and it's good for watching television and here it is so that's that yeah I, I've been doing from the book and showing you the different creators but they're not anything you can make because I can't share the patterns and I thought well this is crazy I would want to make them if I was watching this video so um, that's gonna be my new thing just sharing I'm kind of giving up on my book oh, I might throw some in here and there or maybe do one plus give you a free one that I find that I think looks interesting. It's worthwhile to learn the stitches. So this this will be in the description box. What else? Um, something else I saw this week. I'm going to show you a description to... Um, not a description. I'm going to have a link in the description box to Doris of Rose Cottage. She's a crocheter. And she started this week a new series called the Summertime Washcloth Stitch Series. She's basing her videos for the summer 
on a stitch she has some stitch some crochet stitch books and she'll pick out a stitch and then she it's kind of for beginning crocheters I think but I want to include crochet even though I started this channel for knitting but I crochet I crochet I have a bigger history of crochet than knitting let's put it that way and um, she starts you off you could learn to crochet with this lady she does a chain with you she shows you step by step this this um, this week I don't know if it's a weekly or a monthly I don't know how often it is I just ran across it this week I'm gonna and I didn't watch it till the end because I was anxious to stop my video here uh, she has a very pretty stitch this week called a star stitch I think I might try that one so that was pretty good so that's all for this week I'm gonna try I, every week I start out here and say I'm keeping it short I'm keeping it short this week I'm really gonna keep it short because I have tons to do and as far as this week goes it's Wednesday I haven't really accomplished anything this week and the funny thing about it is there's nothing on my calendar this week the last week I don't have anything on my calendar this week except for Saturday I did have the Connecticut sheep and wool but I crossed it out because I have the new puppy and my husband's gonna be putting a roof on his garage and he doesn't want to watch him for me however depending on the weather um, if they get good weather on Thursday and Friday, tomorrow and Friday, they might do the garage roof early, in which case I might be able to slip out for a while. We'll see. But back to my point of having nothing on my calendar this week, I was free and clear to just go for it and do whatever I needed to do. I got quilts downstairs and need quilting, and I'm actually, I have a project that I took on, um, on Easter Sunday. I know I told you that I got the, um, car covers, the seat cover for the Volkswagen that I had to do. I finished that. It was ripped. I fixed, I think I fixed it pretty good. Um, and um, Jessica's mom put together a bunch of hexes uh, when Jessica was a baby and she wants it made into something. And so I am trying to work that out. It's an irregular shape, which is kind of throwing me. So I've kind of got a little bit of work done on that. Technically, I should just put my nose to the grindstone this afternoon and get that thing going so you know the first steps are the hardest but I'm I'm going to do it I'm going to do it over the next couple of days because I have to take advantage of these days where I have free time because next week the dog goes to the vet for a second check up with my vet he's had previous ones before this I have to have a tooth pulled next week I've got a bone density test coming up I've got, oh, Dennis has some things that he has to have, have done and i got to drive them, so I'll be going to that. So this stuff coming up that I've got to, you know, get my act together now, which I will. So two things to look for in the down, in the description box. Um, I didn't buy any fabric this week. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't because I'm getting way, 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 way too far ahead of myself with fabric. And um, especially with the puppy. He's very quiet right now. I just gave them each a carrot to calm them down. Well, not Molly. She's an angel. He's a terror. <laughs> he's crazy. But he's he's very amusing. So let's put it that way. So, um, yeah. So that's it for this week. I'll see you ne next week. Yay! It will be May, May 4th. Oh, the next time I see you, may the 4th be with you. Okay. All right, see you then. Have a great week, guys, and um, make a washcloth. Bye now. <laughs>